This week we will learn about NumPy, which is arguably one of Python's most important libraries, as it lays the foundation for other libraries such as pandas, matplotlib or scipy. But what is NumPy and why is it so important? NumPy stands for numerical Python, and this already gives us an idea what NumPy is about, so we compute numbers. And for these computations, NumPy provides us with arrays, which is where we store our numbers, and also various functions that we can apply to these arrays. But why should we use NumPy arrays instead of lists? In previous weeks we established lists as a great tool to store and manipulate sequences of objects, any objects in fact. So we could for example have a list that contains integers, floats and strings, or also custom objects. And while that is very convenient for us, it comes at a cost of time and memory. And so in this example here we create 1 million integers and store them in a list. And then we compute with this list and using Python's built-in functions sum and length, the mean of the values. And while 4.7 milliseconds might seem very fast, it's not as fast as it could be. Because when Python sums up the individual values, it has to check each time whether the objects actually support addition. Because Python doesn't know that our list only contains integers. And so if we could tell the Python interpreter that we are only adding integers, then we could skip all this type checking, which would speed up our computation significantly. And for exactly this purpose, NumPy was invented. And to use NumPy, we first have to import it. And we do that by writing import NumPy as NP. The NP is an optional alias that is just there, so we have to type less whenever we refer to NumPy. As previously mentioned, NumPy provides us with arrays, also called ND arrays, which stands for n dimensional arrays. For now, you can think of higher dimensional arrays as nested lists. To create a NumPy array, we simply call np.array and then pass our list of values. And that creates us our NumPy array. And if we now use NumPy's mean function to calculate the mean of this array, we see that the time that it takes is significantly lower. So we go from milliseconds to microseconds. And dividing both measurements tells us that using NumPy is actually 15 times faster than using Python's built-in functions. And so whenever we are dealing with a large amount of numbers, we should make use of NumPy. And what kind of things we can do, we'll find out in the next videos.